Hey there, Jason Cutter again. So here we are, day 10 of the 30 Days Challenge. Yesterday, I kind of went on a small, I wouldn't say rant, that sounds negative, but I went on a small ramble about just, you know, getting out of your head and speaking and having conversations, trusting yourself. One of the key things is just like a follow-up and a little reminder. If you didn't check it out, make sure to watch yesterday's video. Um, but the key is, is that you also have to have the, uh, uh, the skills, the abilities, and the knowledge to back all that stuff up. So in the moment, you want to let go completely and just have that conversation behind the scenes you want to make sure that you're studying you're reading you're being curious like I talked about a couple videos ago you're open you're learning you're absorbing you're studying you're preparing like you're doing all of these things if we talk about that in terms of let's say athletes on the field they can't think when when a football player is running down the field and they've got to do what they've got to do they're not thinking about, I got to do this then I got to do this like, no it's autopilot because they built it up to that point they can let go completely and just do what they know they need to do same thing with sales. All of that preparation needs to happen off the field before game time. In that conversation, let it all go, let it flow, see what happens. All right, so now let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I am going to share my screen and see what the random topic is today. You can see the previous, previous topic that I was going to talk about is why questions are key. So let's go ahead and roll this here and see. All right, so instead of pausing, empathetic reversing. Okay, so this one is a huge topic for a lot of people, and I don't know how deep I'll be able to get into it in these short segments. This is usually a long training that I give to people, uh, and it's also, of course, in the program, but the thing that kills a lot of sales conversations for a lot of people who are probably more on the order taker side or in their head too much or afraid of moving conversations forward with the persuasion side is that they pause a lot. So there's a thing that happens is when they, somebody in this category is answering a question, they answer that question that the prospect had, or they make their statement, and then they pause, and then they're quiet. And then the problem is, is that that opens up this empty void and the universe doesn't like emptiness. It doesn't like a vacuum, right? Uh, it wants to fill that. And your prospect wants to fill that with something. So what they want to do is they want to fill that with talking, with other questions, with thinking in their brain. When you give them that gap, the problem is that prospect, if they were on the fence and they were kind of unsure if they were going to make a decision or not, they're going to start thinking about all the ways that this could be a bad decision to buy from you and when they do that they go down this like kind of death spiral where they are no longer wanting to move forward and now just looking for the exit they're afraid like if you've ever gone to amusement park and gone on a roller coaster ride and when you stood in line especially if you're nervous or you're young i remember the first time i went on a scary roller coaster the kind that did loops and barrel rolls and you know it was intense i remember standing in line with my dad and the line was forever i think it was it was summertime so the line was probably 45 minutes maybe an hour it felt like death i just wanted to run away i wanted to throw up i was so nervous about what if what was going to happen just all these thoughts and terrible things that my mind were doing now obviously the reality is nobody uh, was unsafe everyone was making it through people were going on and off the ride there had not been a death uh, on that ride ever uh, and so my brain is is scaring me into thinking that uh, it's unsafe and all that gap in that time is terrible versus if you've ever gone to an amusement park and you've gone on a ride and there's been no line and you just walk up and go you don't have time to think of it and be scared so same thing happens in your sales conversations when you leave that gap when you give your prospect too much time to think their primal side of their brain is going to come up with reasons even if they're wrong it's going to come up with reasons and excuses of why they shouldn't buy from you um, and so you want to make sure you don't pause. You want to make sure you go into it. Now, the empathetic reversing side, which will probably have to be a topic for another day, but that's about answering their question and asking them a question and moving the conversation forward. You just want to make sure you fill in those gaps and continue the conversation forward in an appropriate way. Now, the inappropriate way, because uh, you know I want to make sure to cover that, is manipulation. A lot of people think, okay, so I'm going to fill in those gaps, but manipulation, I'm just going to keep forcing 
it and I'm going to push people for it. That's the old way. That's the slick, shady sales way that people don't like. Uh, even if they fall for it, they don't like it. So instead, you want to fill it with persuasion. You want to fill it with moving it forward. You want to do it with the other stuff we've been talking about on all these video topics so far. Just mash all this together. That's what you want to fill in that void. So hopefully that helps. Watch out for those pauses when you're talking to your prospects. And uh, if you have any questions about this or need any help, you can always reach out to me and I will see you in tomorrow's video number 11.